that's the front of the book. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Next. Okay. As I said, that's the flap and the coloring. Okay, next. And there we begin the book. Now this little Evie wanted to do something. So she got ready. She wanted something new to wear. And on the hook, she found it. She wanted something new to play with. And her grandpa made it for her. She wanted to go out, and the door flew open. She wanted to run up a steep hill, and her legs carried her. She wanted to fly her kite, and the wind took it. When she shouted, look how high, her mother ran to look. That's the height of the story, partly, so we have a double page spread. Her mother ran to look. Okay, when she wanted to go home for supper, her grandma had it ready. When she wanted her blanket, her sister wrapped it round her. When she wanted a song, her father came and sang to her. All about Evie, who flew her kite up with the clouds and the speedy plane. If you want to hear that story again, go back to the beginning. Okay, next, I think there's another one. Yeah, and there you have an arrow to direct you back to the beginning in case you didn't know. And then we have a beautiful darker orange page. Okay, and then we have, there we are, and the back of the book. So that is the whole book. Okay. It, I meant it to be a celebration of how it would be if a child got what they needed. Not what they wanted, but what they needed. But that's rare. I knew that, so I called it Lucky Song. I couldn't call it Birth... I wanted to call it Birthright, but that's not a good name for a book. Yeah. I did name her Evie, like <laughs> Eve. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's interesting. Several children had said to me, oh, she's spoiled. She's greedy. And then I point out that if your legs carry you up the hill, that's your legs. You're doing something, you know. It's true. Her family helps her. She helps herself. She lives. And that's what I wanted to celebrate in this book.